On April 2nd, 1999, UC Riverside Chancellor Raymond Orbach announced the Highlanders' intention to change from Division II to Division I status beginning with the 2001-2002 season. Just over a year later, UC Riverside head men's basketball coach John Macy made the announcement that would define the program in its Division I infancy, that the Highlanders had signed 29 Palms High School standout Villy Morton to a national letter of intent. As a senior at 29 Palms, the 6'8 forward averaged 23 points and 18 rebounds. Morton stepped into the Highlanders' starting lineup almost immediately, starting 23 of the team's 25 games as a freshman. He averaged 8.5 points and 7.2 rebounds that year, while connecting on 58.2% of his shots from the field. UC Riverside went 8-17 overall with victories over Cal State Fullerton, UC Santa Barbara, St. Mary's, and Weber State. They even knocked off Pac-12 foe Oregon State on the road, behind an 11-point, 6-rebound effort from Morton. The following season, Morton nearly averaged a double-double, scoring 10.9 points per game and grabbing 9.3 boards per game. His 241 total rebounds that season stood as the program's Division I record until Taylor Johns eclipsed it one year ago. Morton also blocked 83 shots that year and was named Big West Conference Defensive Player of the Year, as well as being named to the All Big West second team. Morton sat out the 2002-2003 season with a foot injury, but he returned the following year to average 12.3 points and 6.3 rebounds per game while connecting on just under 60% of his shots from the floor. He earned his second all-conference award that year with a spot on the Big West Honorable Mention team as the Highlanders went 11-17, including 7-11 in conference play. Through the first 12 games of the 2004-2005 campaign, Morton was well on his way to another all-conference nod and possible Player of the Year award, averaging 16.5 points and 9.1 rebounds per game. But late in a January 10th game against UC Davis, a freak collision sent Morton to the floor, a torn ACL ending his UC Riverside career. Despite his shortened senior year, Morton still ranks fifth in Highlanders history and made field goals, fourth in field goal percentage, and fourth in total rebounds, first in blocked shots. After rehabbing his knee, Morton signed to play professionally in Australia, but another knee injury brought him back stateside. Although a professional playing career was no longer in the cards, Morton participated in the Red Bull King of the Rock Tournament in 2010, securing the top spot in the Oakland Qualifier and playing in the yard on famed Alcatraz Island. These days, Morton helps others reach their athletic goals, working as a club manager at 24 Hour Fitness. The UC Riverside men's basketball program is honored to bring back the past this evening with former Highlanders forward, Billy Morton.